the Ovor Jet Catamaran, uh, otherwise known as the Wookiee Catamaran, uh, was a well-known Wookiee-manufactured flying boat-like craft uh, built by the Apazana Engineering Works. The craft, the craft was named after the Ovor, a sea creature native to Kashyyyk. These speeders were 15.1 meters long at 10.2 meters wide and 4.3 meters uh, tall. Draft. Whatever. They're fly, They're literally flying boats. I don't exactly know what to call it. Anyway, they had a max speed of 370 kilometers an hour and a service ceiling of 1,000 meters. The hull was made of Roshir wood. Thank you, Star Wars, for continuing to make up words that I can't pronounce. They could be unarmed, but they were typically armed, when they were armed, with a blaster cannon, a missile launcher, and a small repeating blaster. It had a crew of two, a pilot and a co-pilot, and could carry two passengers, presumably gunners, when they were armed. This craft could be used as a civilian speeder or military transport, and was used by the Wookiee Council, their allies, the Galactic Republic, and later the Kashyyyk Resistance. These catamarans were slim, twin marine hull crafts that could skim or probably also float over many of Kashyyyk's oceans. The craft used repulsor lift arrays, but also based on the shape of these hulls, I suspect they could be used on water if these failed uh, or if they wanted to not use them for whatever reason. Uh, they had engines similar to those used on pod racers. The craft wasn't just named after the Avor, it was designed to look like it, its prow was sporting an axe like horn. They provide they proved excuse me, they proved invaluable to the Wookiees who used them to easily bypass the geographical geographical concerns of the planet they inhabited. These catamarans were normally fishing craft or sports craft, however, when Kashyyyk was threatened, they could be easily converted into makeshift attack craft. During the Battle of Kashyyyk during the Clone Wars, these catamarans did great service due to their speed and maneuverability against these Separatist lines, and quite frankly did a better job than the Republic counterparts, both of which relied on heavy armor, those being the Juggernaut and ATPT. Although, to be fair, the Swamp Speeder and the ATRT were much better suited as well, and also served quite well. Anyway, that's beside the point. They did such good service that even Jedi General Quinlan Voss used one during the battle. They continued to see combat with the Kashyyyk Resistance following the Clone Wars and the occupation by the newly formed Galactic Empire. And that is all I've got on the uh, Wookiee Catamaran in canon. But don't worry, there will be a Legends video uh, that will be coming out soon, but I tend to keep those separate so I don't have to go back and forth. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Um, and to those of you who don't like metric, uh, be using metric in, in my videos, Star Wars measurements are only in metric. And I can manage to understand them. So if you can't, go convert them yourself. Um, but it's Star Wars, so I'm not sure it really matters. Anyway. Uh, that's all I've got for you today. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, everything. So, take care. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.